10 reasons not to visit Australia. There's a video released two years ago about some foreigner visiting Australia and making up a bunch of bullshit. So as an Australian, I'm going to review it and see what these people have to say about our beautiful nation. Hi everyone. Australia is a beautiful place with incredible nature and nice people. But if you spend a lot of time on the internet, you might have heard that you should never visit this country. Why? Well, we're going to try to explain it to you now. So, here are 10 reasons why you shouldn't go to Australia. Let's get it on. Ocean Current An ocean current? You've got to be kidding me. That's not a reason not to visit Australia. That's a reason not to go in one. Simple. Do you prefer a lazy beach vacation or love swimming near the coast and sunbathing? Well, we're sorry to disappoint you, but you're not very likely to find a decent beach in Australia. What the fuck? There are many decent beaches in Australia. It's like Palm Beach, Bi uh, Bondi Beach, it's the Gold Coast. Yeah, they are really good beaches for surfing. Of course, there are beaches there, but the ocean's never calm enough. And this is why Australian coasts are perfect for surfing. Whee! But suppose you're lucky. The water's warm, there's almost no waves around, and you're ready to dive in. But suddenly you notice a warning about sharks. You don't notice sharks. The lifeguards tell you when there are sharks. And believe me, I'm Australian, and I know this stuff or jellyfish, or poisonous fish. There's no such fish looking like that, and it's certainly not poisonous. There is no poisonous fish in Australia. This guy got it from Wikipedia, I'm sure. Or some other underwater animals that would be happy to share some of their venom with you, or have you as a snack. And even if there are no dangerous creatures, there's always the chance you'll get drawn into the ocean by a strong underwater current. The only way not to get into a rift current is if you don't go in there. That's why there are signs, red, swim between the red and yellow flag. That keeps you safe. Of course, there are many beach rescuers around, but anyway, being dragged away from the coast into the ocean is not the best experience in the world. Cassowary. Now this is 100% fucked up. They're not gonna attack you as long as you don't attack them. What? Am I supposed to be scared of this bird? You might ask. You are right, it does look like a weird hybrid between an ostrich and a turkey, and it doesn't exactly look scary. But in spite of its appearance, this bird is in the Guinness World Records as the most dangerous bird in the world. It has a sharp beak and long, strong claws. It's the most dangerous bird. We get it. But it's not, it's not going to kill you or anything. I mean... It's not even near where I live, and I have never seen a cassowary in Australia. But its most important feature is its nasty temper. Everything irritates this bird. Everything? Seriously? As long as you don't go near it, it won't be irritated. Actually, this creature is totally unpredictable because it always attacks first. Now, this is information definitely from Wikipedia. It does not attack first. And that's a real problem. The average cassowary's height is about six and a half feet, and it weighs about 180 pounds. And like if that weren't enough, cassowaries can speed up to 30 miles per hour, jump five feet in the air, and they're extremely good at swimming. So it's almost impossible to run away from this angry bird. Here's a tip. Stay away from him, and you won't get fucked. Snakes. This gets more bullshit every minute. It's talking about reasons not to visit Australia. They mention animals. I mean, animals. That's not why you shouldn't go to Australia. That's that's why you should you shouldn't go near them. Fucking pommies, mate. We're gonna be straight with you. Most snakes in Australia are venomous, and there are a lot of them, and they're practically everywhere practically everywhere. They're in some places, you fucking idiot. Fortunately, Australian snakes don't usually attack people, and when they do, they do it in self-defense. Finally, 
something that's not a bunch of bullshit. But that's no consolation for when you suddenly find a snake in the toilet tank, under your bed, or in the middle of a supermarket. Well, that's not always the case. Spiders. Spiders, I don't really like them. Well, we'll see what they have to say about them, or maybe make up some bullshit. If you suffer from arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, you definitely shouldn't go to Australia. If arachnophobia, you should stay away from the spiders. That's, that's just ridiculous. That's not why you shouldn't come to Australia. Because just like snakes, they are everywhere. You can see them in basements, hotels, cafes, parks, beaches, and even in the sink. They don't always come out of the sink and say, peekaboo. Sun. Seriously? Is this guy autistic? Just put some sunscreen on. Simple. Some people say it's all because of an ozone hole somewhere above the south part of the continent. Finally, they've actually fact-checked something. And that makes Australians the most susceptible people to skin cancer. Although scientists haven't confirmed that yet. Anyway, if your skin is white, you will probably get burnt on the first day of your vacation, so don't forget to use sunscreen and dress properly. Firstly, the skin thing, that can also happen to black people too. So you're just categorizing skin color. Another bullshit thing to say. Um, and yeah, that's why there's also slip, slop, slap. Put your sunscreen on. Dingo. What the fuck? This is a Tasmanian devil, not a dingo. Fire ants. Fire ants are not a reason not to go to Australia, you fucking foreign idiots. Stinging brush. You're saying, don't come to Australia because of fucking leaves. They're not gonna hurt you, they just stay there. Oh my fucking god. There's no logic in this video, really. I think you should redo this whole video. Alligators. You mean crocodiles, you p pommy fuckwit. Now tell us, what do you know about alligators? Apart from the fact that they're dangerous toothed reptiles, we looked it up and we learnt that in the last decades, the population of alligators grew so much in Australia that now they're a real problem for the locals. The only way that they're not a problem is if you stay away from them. Parenti. That's not a parenti. That's a Komodo dragon. And plus, they do not live in Australia. So, I just think this is a bunch of crap and that's for the views, honestly. You know what? I'm done with this video. By the way, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe and comment down below if you liked it, if you want me to do more of these stuff.